Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to Test Rail Training. In this tutorial, we will learn about bulk editing the test cases in Test Rail project. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is to create a project, then create a test suite and section, and below that, create some of the sample test cases so which we have already done um, so i'll directly go to the test case section in the project and i've already created some of the sections and subsections and there are test cases already below that so you can create similar structure um, in order to practice so to do the bulk editing of the test cases all you need to do is you need to either select whatever test case you want to bulk edit so you can select multiple test cases here uh, and click on edit icon here edit uh, drop down you can click on edit selected or you can edit all in the filter all right so if you select edit all in the filter it will select all the cases um, of this test suite right so anything that is uh, selected in this test suite will be um, or in the filter will be selected if you just click on edit selected it will select the five test cases that i have selected at the moment so click on edit selected uh, so you can see the five test cases are selected here and you'll see the priority created date and sections uh, listed now what all can you update in these test cases you can update the title you can update section so if you want to modify the section of these test cases you can update the section so for example you feel um, later that these sections are more relevant to the um, guest subsection you can change the section and then you can change the template to um, at the moment it's the text test case template you can change it to steps um, and type you can say functional priority depending on what priority you want to assign if you if you feel that all of these need to be critical you change it to critical uh, you can provide estimates um, other details around preconditions as well um, you can provide those um, details as well if preconditions are same for all of these test cases you can provide that precondition in this section and then click on save test cases so once you click on save test case it will give you review changes option um, and will ask you to uh, uh, confirm because this cannot be undone so you have to make sure that whatever changes you are making to those test cases are uh, particularly um, what what you actually need so once you confirm yes update all five test cases you will see all these five test cases will be updated with the details that you have provided in the uh, update in the edit section so now you can see under registration there are no test cases and all these test cases have been moved to the guest section and if you see the priority all the priorities have been changed to critical now so if you want to see more details of the test case open the test case click on edit and you'll see the type is functional uh, priority is critical etc so this is what we have changed for the test case while we um, started editing the test case so go back to the test case section and we'll see uh, some more details around uh, the editing so if you want to edit all the test cases in that particular filter so at the moment you see that none of the filter are selected so filter is none so if you click on the second option edit all in filter it will select all the test cases so there are 19 test cases included um, and it will list you all the test cases to edit so that is pretty much all about editing or bulk editing the test cases in test rail um, feel free to drop your queries if you have any doubts in test rail um, uh, tool and i'll uh, make sure that i'll create and answer your queries as soon as i can hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel um, so that i can keep creating more um, uh, videos like this which are helpful for you guys thank you very much